Well hello, thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail and we're continuing here at Kerfunnick Country Park near Lorne and where I'm taking you now is I'm taking you up to see the big house which is, and I'm hoping pronouncing this name correctly Kerndu House Now, unfortunately Kerndu House is crumbling It's a crumbling Victorian mansion Located off the coast road in Carfunic Country Park, as I say, near Lorne. And it was built sometime after 1878 as a summer residence for the wealthy Scottish textile industrialist Stuart Clark, who had married a young woman from Lorne. Now, the large wooden front door on the north side of the house led to a large hall inside of which the main feature was the Grand Oak chimney piece with the elaborate carvings depicting the Jolly Baggers and also the departure of Mary Queen of Scots from Loch Leven Castle in May 1568 and in 1907, Mr. Clark passed away, but the house was still regularly used by his wife, Annie Clark, and their daughter, Rubina Elizabeth Clark. And you can see the house there, up on the hill. So that's where we're heading. Now, when Mrs. Clark passed away, Rabina continued to use the home as a summer residence until 1918 when it was sold to Sir Thomas and Lady Dixon for £8,000 and of course Lady Dixon was Edith Clark so she was a daughter as well of the Clarks. Now throughout World War II the house and grounds were used as a war hospital then, in 1947, the Dixons donated Grandu House to the Northern Ireland Hospitals Authority after having lived there for 40 years. So it was very kind of them, and that's one thing you have to say about the Dixons. They were very generous people, both in Lorne and near Belfast. The Sir Thomas and Lady Edith Dixon Hospital opened its doors in the year 1950 as the first convalescent home owned by the authority. Now in 1986, the, Calvin, the convalescent house closed its doors for good and would be acquired by Lauren Council as part of the Carfunic Country Park Estate. Then in 1996, the council sold the house and its 22 acres of land to a property developer. And there's the big house there. I hope the sun doesn't spoil your view of it. It's massive, isn't it? But unfortunately, it's just land there rotting away. So, since 1996, Grandy House has been left abandoned and has fallen into a state of extreme disrepair, as you can see. Much of the ceiling has caved in on itself and much of the house is inaccessible with uh, graffiti also emblazoned on the walls both inside the property and outside the property. 
So what was once a grand and regal building is now actually crumbling in on itself, unfortunately. It would remind you a wee bit of the other house that the Dixons owned at Lady Dixons Park, just outside Belfast, which was also donated by Lady Dixon to the council and to the people of Belfast, along with 140 acres of land with the wish that it also be used as a hospital. Convalescent home, or home for the elderly. You can see the lovely trees there. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? So it was used for that for a time, but now the house, Wilmont House, lays empty and abandoned. Like her new house, Wilmont House is a Victorian house. There is also a Dixon Park near Lorne Town Centre, which was generously provided for by Sir Thomas and Lady Dixon. So you can see a massive tree there. Beautiful, isn't it? But at least people can still walk around here and enjoy it. So the park was opened in Lorne by Lady Dixon on Tuesday the 9th of April 1935. And Sir Thomas Dixon was Mayor of Lorne as well as a host of other titles that he held. And I hope the sun doesn't spoil your view there too much. Now Lady Dixon was appointed a Dame of the British Empire in June 19. 21 in recognition of her valuable work on behalf of all the services during World War One. You can see the big lock there. Try and cover the sun the best they can. You might see it a wee bit better here. So you can see the state of the, the disrepair that she's in, unfortunately. You can also see the writing that I was talking about, the graffiti. Now, of course, although there's a big lock on there, as I showed you, some people have uh, made their own way in, but I certainly won't be crawling under that. There is no way. So there you go, folks. So I hope you've enjoyed that wee tour of Grandu House. And if you go into the playlist on the uh, Sir Thomas and Lady Dixon, you'll get a whole lot of videos that I have covered concerning them. So thanks for watching and God bless.